On October 9, 2018 the White House released a briefing statement regarding foreign policy titled Remarks by President Trump Before Marine One Departure. That briefing statement said, South Long 3.38 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time THE President, so we're heading out to Iowa, where we have a big statement to make, as you know, on ethanol and for our farmers. Likewise, we're taking care of our refineries and our refiners, and they've done a fantastic job. But we want to get more fuel into the system, and this is a great thing. But they are great for our farmers, and it was a promise that I made during the campaign. And, as you know, I keep my promises. So that's the way it is. So we're heading out to Iowa. I assume some of you are coming. Yes, please. Q Mr. President, in terms of who may succeed Nikki Haley at the United Nations, the name Danae Powell is out there. That will be a trade one strong woman from another. What are the chances of that happening? The president, it's certainly a person I would consider. And she is under consideration. We have, actually, many names. And, you know, Nikki has been great. Nikki is going to be working along with us and helping us with the choice. Plus, she's going to help us with 2020. And Nikki is a great friend of mine. We've become real friends over the last period of time. But she's done a fantastic job. And so she'll be involved. And in A, certainly. And there are others. I've heard a lot of names. Q, what about Ivanka? The president, I've heard Ivanka. I've heard how good would Ivanka be? Q, would you consider her? The president, the people that know it's nothing to do with nepotism. But I won't tell you, the people that know, know that Ivanka would be dynamite. But, you know, it can be accused of nepotism, if you can believe it. Right? Yes. Q is it a serious consideration though? Would she be a good fit for that job? The president, I think Ivanka would be incredible. That doesn't mean if you know, it pick her because I'd be accused of nepotism, even though I'm not sure there's anybody more competent in the world. But that's okay. But we are looking at numerous people. And it is interesting, the name you just mentioned. Q, what's the real reason for Ambassador Haley's resignation? There's a lot of speculation about the timing, on a day when you should be celebrating the Kavanaugh nomination. The President, we do a lot. You know, this administration does a lot. So, you're right, another administration would after like the Kavanaugh victory. It's really a victory for the people, it's not for me. It's a victory they'll have a great justice for hopefully many years. But a lot of people would celebrate, we go back to business the next day. And, you know, Nikki and I talked about this a year ago. And we ought to she really wanted to be here for about two years. We finished our big week last week at the UN. We had a tremendous success. It was great. And we finished 30 days out. But, you know, Nikki is going to be involved with us for a long time. And she's going to help me also make that final pick. We're going to make a final pick. I want to get somebody really good. I think she's also brought a new level of prestige to that position. That position is in terms of people wanting it easier now in a way, than it was before. Nikki has brought, obviously, great competence, but she has brought great prestige to that position. Q, how do you keep your base energized now that you have this Kavanaugh victory? The President, well, that's a very good question. How do you keep your base energized now that you have the big Kavanaugh victory? I would say that just by winning. Got to keep winning. We're doing a lot of winning. We're very happy with the Uzmka, which is the I don't want to use the word NAFTA because it's a terrible word, because it was a horrible deal for this country. But our deal with Mexico and Canada was fantastic. China wants to make a deal so badly. We'll see where it goes. But I don't think they are ready yet, personally. Who do you think the Democrats, on the other hand, will be energized because they saw the defeat of someone that they wanted, inaudible? The president, yeah, probably. I mean, there could be. But, you know, 
a lot of those were paid protesters. You saw that. They were all unhappy because they haven't been paid yet. I've been calling it. They were paid protesters. That was professional. That was orchestrated, when you look in the halls of Congress, and you see screaming like that. And it's like chimes one goes, the next goes. These are paid protesters. I don't know that their energy is great. I can tell you, the energy on the Republican side, I don't think it's ever been greater maybe 2016, where, as you remember, the energy was very good. My man. Q Mr. President T.H.E. President, say hello to your father. Q I will. You've already got two Supreme Court justices through in your first term. How many more do you think you might get this term? T.H.E. President, a lot of theories on that. It could be three. Under one theory, it could be four. And then some people could say two could happen. So, you know, it could anywhere be from, I would say, one or two, to four additional. So well see. You know what? I hope everyone remains healthy. I'm very happy the way it is right now. And we put a great man, and I think going to be a great justice on the court. But, you know, it's a guessing game. You don't know. What is an honor is that there have been presidents many presidents that never had a choice. And here I am, not even two years, and we have two. And they are confirmed and, inaudible. Q your meeting with Kanai West on your meeting with Kanai West on Thursday, Mr. President. When will you talk T.H.E. President, yay, I believe Kanai West is coming to the White House. Has been a terrific guy. You know, he loves what we're doing for African American jobs, for so many different things. Median income, as you see, at an all-time high. Poverty level at the best rate meaning the lowest rate so far. And Kanai is a smart guy. And he sees that. And also coming with him he said, do you mind if I bring Jim Brown? Big Jim Brown. Boy, would he be making a lot of money today, right? He was and I call him unstoppable Jim Brown. And has been a friend of mine. Has been really with us. Because he gets it. He really gets it. He sees that African American and, by the way, Hispanic and Asian have never done better in this country. And he likes it. Q were you concerned about the way that China treated Secretary Pompeo when he was there on this most recent visit? The President, no. They are just trying to get me a message. But those messages don't work. They don't work. But no, I think they treated him with great respect, actually. You know, they had meetings besides just the news conference. And I think they treated him with great respect. He had a great meeting with North Korea. And China, it's it wasn't so much I guess he was giving them a message, and they were giving him a message to come back to me. Q do you have any updates about the Saudi journalist? Have you heard anything recently? The President, I don't know anything. No, I don't have any updates. No. It's a sad situation. Q have you read the UN report this week warning about climate change? Requiring drastic action The President, it was given to me. It was given to me. And I want to look at who drew it. You know, which group drew it. Because I can give you reports that are fabulous, and I can give you reports that aren't so good. But I will be looking at it. Absolutely. Q what do you think about Hope Hicks' new job at Fox? The President, I think it's fantastic. Hope? Q.E.I. T.H.E. President, she's the greatest. I love it. I think Hope is in so proud of her. And I'm very happy. I'm very happy for you, right? Was that announced officially now? Q.E.S. T.H.E. President, I'm very happy for Fox because they have a winner. Hope is a winner. And she has been from the beginning. You know, she was like literally right from first day. That was a small group. And no, I'm very proud of Hope. And Fox has themselves somebody has really great. Q on ethanol the petroleum industry opposes this idea of moving to 15% ethanol year round. They say it's going to hurt their industry. What do you say to them? T 
T.H.E. President, well, I want more industry. I want more energy. I want more, because I don't like $74. It's up to $74. And if I have to do more, whether it's through ethanol or through another means, that's what I want. I want low prices. So I'm okay with it. You know, it's an amazing substance. You look at the indie cars they run 100% on ethanol. And you look at other certain forms of very modern energy, it's ethanol based, and that meant a lot to me. But what it really means is we're helping our farmers and we're also going to be helping our refiners, and you know that too because they are both very important. But the farmers have been so terrific, and they produce great product. So I think it's going to be great. And it has no impact 12 months. That was a misnomer. There is no negative impact. In fact, there are those that say, you do this and the air is cleaner. I agree with that. But they say, you go 12 months instead of 8 you go 12 months, and the air is actually cleaner. Pew just yesterday, Crew filed an ethics complaint against Nikki Haley, saying that she misused T.H.E. president, who did? Pew Crew Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics. They fired an ethics complaint, saying that Nikki Haley misused private planes. Did that factor in at all into the timing of the announcement? T.H.E. President, no, I know nothing about it. I know nothing about it. I know Nikki. This is one of the most honest human beings you'll ever see. So I just I haven't heard about it. Q would you like to see Nikki Haley be the next U.S. Senator from South Carolina, sir? T.H.E. President, say it. Q would you like to see Nikki Haley be the next U.S. Senator from South Carolina? T.H.E. President, well, that all depends on who she's going to be running against. I mean, I could tell you, you have some few really good ones right there, right now. So I don't see her doing that, no. Q does Lindsey Graham have a place in your administration after the midterms? T.H.E. President, well... Lindsay is a terrific guy. I think he wants to stay right where he is. Certainly, I would. But I think he's really happy. He'll tell you what, Lindsay really stepped up over the last two or three weeks. I thought it was fantastic. So, Lindsay is a popular guy, and Tim is a popular guy. I think those are two people and Nikki doesn't have that in mind at all. Q is Senator Gray unpopular enough to be your next Attorney General, sir? T.H.E. President, he is somebody that never asked me that question. I think he's very happy where he is. He's having a good time. And he really stepped it up. He's doing great. Q. Mr. President, do you believe Nikki Haley when she says she doesn't want to run for president in 2020? T.H.E. President, ah, yeah, 100%. Q. You guys used to clash with one another. T.H.E. President, that's right. But wave I didn't know her. I mean, she supported somebody over me in the primary. It turned out very well for me. She respected it. And after that, we got along, as you would say, very well. She helped me in the election you know, once I win the primaries. And we've really been friends and we've been compatriots. We've been we've done a great job together. You know, the United Nations is at... I think, really a new level of respect. And we work together. We had a tremendous week last week. So, no, Nikki wants to work with us and also to keep it going. She wants to work I guess she said today, a few times, she wants to work on the 2020 election with us. Q Mr. President, what about your comments yesterday that some of these forces against Brett Kavanaugh were, quote, evil? T.H.E. President, yeah, I think they were. I think they were. Yeah. Q who do you, inaudible, when you say evil you mean evil? T.H.E. President, yeah, I'm not going to say who I mean. I'm just telling you, you had forces saying things that were evil. They were bad people. And he is a very, very fine man. And what was said about him should never have been said. Q, inaudible, fellow Americans? T.H.E. President, I know many. I know fellow Americans that are evil. 
I know are you saying we should and say that a fellow American is evil? I've known some fellow Americans that are pretty evil. Q. Inaudible. T.H.E. President. Well, I like to see low interest rates. The Fed is doing what they think is necessary, but I don't like what they are doing. Because we have inflation really checked, and we have a lot of good things happening. So, I will say this, we're normalizing money, and that's good, but I think we don't have to go as fast. I want to be able to pay off debt. Also, and very importantly, I think that the numbers that we're producing are record setting. I don't want to slow it down even a little bit, especially when you don't have the problem of inflation. And you don't see that inflation going back. Now, at some point it will, and you go up. I just don't think it's necessary to go as fast. You have you talked to Jay Powell about that? Have you told him what you think? The President, I have not spoken to him about that. You have you met with him this year? The President, no, I like to stay and involved with them. I have not spoken. How are you? Q Mr. President, again hi, good, how are you? Have you considered Jared Kushner, your son-in-law, for UN Ambassador? The President, well, has very talented, but no, I haven't. Q okay. And the second question The President, only because I know you people. What would you do if I said that, right? What would they do? Q but Ivanka is in the running? The President, Jared or how do you feel about Ivanka? Q great. The President, I think CNN would support her. Q what about the difference between Kushner and Ivanka? The President, well, look, they are two very competent people. Q and on Rosenstein, he, inaudible, Congress. Is he a The President, well, I guess has going before Congress. We had a very good talk yesterday. And has going before Congress. We'll see how it all works out. In the meantime, as you know, Senator Richard Burr came out just recently and said there was no collusion. He saw no collusion. This is after what? A year and a half. And Devin Nunn's, as you know, a very smart people. He came out. There's no collusion. There is no collusion. So that's all I care about. Q Mr. President, with the nomination of Kavanaugh now behind us, how do you recommend we address the divide in the American political climate? The President, well start getting together. Well start getting together. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. END 3.53 PM Eastern Daylight Time, Daylight Time, Daylight Time.